dear students now we are going to discuss about a topic called projection of solids here they are told that an hexagonal prism of base height 20 mm height 50 mm is resting on the ground on one of its edges and axis has been inclined 45 degree so for this condition first i have to draw your hexagon for that i am going to use your command polygon number of sides is 6 enter i am going to use your h method so e enter so i just click your first point okay so your hexagon is of 20 mm so 20 enter so now i've got your hexagon okay so it is a prism problem students so first i have to mark your alphabets for that first i just click your text over here first point and second point and we having a on your bracket it will be 1 okay just select this text move it place closer to your first point ok I will be making a copy of this this is your second point third point fourth point fifth point and your last sixth point ok so this will be your B it will be your 2 similarly over here it will be C 3 D 4 E 5 your last will be your F and it will be your 6 just change it into a thick line as 0.35 ok next step we are going to draw your projection lines till your x y line i just drawn your projection line till your x y line see students in this problem your axis line as well as your coordinate that is your corner points have been on your same line so i can't able to draw your axis line so i'll be just drawing your projection line see they are given your height has been 50 mm so first what i am going to do is from this point I want to draw a 50 mm line and I will be just projecting it with the help of your construction line I will be drawing your object ok now I am going to mark your alphabets so for that I will be just zooming only this area so it will be easy for us just make a copy of this just place it over here just double click it it will be 1 dash on your bracket it will be 6 dash just to move the text and keep outside of your image so I just clicked it move from here I just placed it over here make a copy of this so we need another two points So this will be 2 comma 5 dash similarly over here it will be 3 comma 4 dash clear students so once again zoom your window so now I am going for make a copy of this copy just I will be placing wherever I need it so I have to mark your alphabets so this will be your A dash F dash similarly over here it will be your B dash E dash at your last it will be your C dash and D dash. So now we drawn your front view. Just select your objects and convert into a thick line. So I just selected it and I just changed it into 
0.35 okay now see it has been axis has been inclined 45 degree so first i am going to just select this objects okay i am going to move with respect to your base point sorry i have to make a copy so just select this make a copy your copy will be your axis point and i just place it over here they have told that it has been tilted to 45 degree just select it rotate about your base point 45 see students some of your part of your diagram is being see i have just tilted to 45 select it rotate about your base point that is 45 I am sorry, I just given your angle by mistake wrongly, rotate, select your objects, center point, I have just rotated your object, ok. Now see some of your point has been below your x y line, so what I have to do is, I have to just select it, move. So, just zoom this window only. So, it will be easy for us. So, what I have to do is first I will be zooming your window. So, I have selected your entire points. Click move. This will be your base point and just place it like this. Now, you can see the object has been placed and your next just click this line and extend it. E X enter just select this line e x enter just select this line you can see it has been extended so this is our axis line you can have a check also students i just click your dimension your angular i just selected it these two points you can see it has been 45 degree so next I have to project your line students. So, I will be just zooming your window. Okay. So, first I have to complete part by part. So, first I will be completing this top part, then I will be coming for this bottom part. Click your line. Make sure that your ortho is being on. Just draw your projection lines. Okay. So, I have drawn it. Next, similarly, I am going to draw your horizontal lines from each points. So, see, I have drawn for each and every points. Okay. So, now I have to mark your alphabets. So, I just make a copy of this. It will be your A close text editor. Just to place by matching your points. See A is over here and A has been over here. So, I just click it and move and placed my A point. Similarly, I am going to match it and get for your all other points. So, here it will be your B, C, D, E and your last F. So, I will be just renaming it. So, this is your B point, C point, D point. E point and F point. See students, I have to view from this top direction. So, I will be viewing from this direction, all your alphabets will be visible. So, I have to draw it as a continuous line.
okay now all your alphabets are visible so i have just drawn it as a continuous dark lines clear everybody so i just changing it to your line thickness as 0.35 similarly i will be projecting your base points so from each and every point i will be just projecting it see students now once again i have to mark your 1 2 3 see your base has been opened on this direction so i have to view from this direction so when i view from this direction your 1 2 5 6 will be visible whereas your 4 and 3 will be invisible okay so first i'll be marking your alphabets this is your 1 point 2 Here you will be having your three, four, five, six. So it will be your one. I just renumbering it. Two, three, four. Five, six. See, students. I have already told that when it has been a visible points, it will be joined as a continuous line. Otherwise, it will be a dotted line. See, your one and two are been visible, so I will be joining as a continuous line. Whereas your two is visible, three is a invisible, so I have to join with a dotted line. Okay. So first I'll be continue joining with all the straight lines. Then I'll be changing into dotted lines. So it will be easy for us. Okay. So I just select your lines, and I'll be changing the line thickness as 0.35. See students, now it has been already clear with us. Just I'll be moving your words, so it will be easy for us. see now it has been already clear for us how to join your hidden lines see your two point is visible whereas your three is invisible so this line will be a hidden line i just selected it once again your four and three is been invisible hidden line and once again your fifth point is visible your fourth point is invisible so whenever students if one point is been invisible also you have to draw it as a hidden line that is your dashed line so i changed it see now your fifth point is visible your e is also visible join it with your continuous thick line so i just changing your line thickness as 0.35 i'll be drawing a continuous thick line okay next your six point is visible your f point is also visible so once again continuous thick line one point visible a point is also visible continuous thick line Here also I have not drawn correctly, so I just redrawing it from sixth point to f point. Now see your second point is visible, and your b point is also visible, so continuous line. Whereas your third point is visible, and it has been c is c is been visible, whereas your third point is invisible. So I have to join with a dotted line. So I have changed your dashed line. Just pick your line, say from this point to this point. Similarly, your four is invisible, whereas your D is visible. So I joined with a hidden line. So this is your final shape of your diagram, students. Now we are going to mark your dimensions. Okay. So before marking your dimension, we are going to set your dim style, which you have been already familiar. Click modify. Check your symbols and arrows tab. Your arrow size is four. on your text tab your text type should be 5 your primary units it should be 0.00 okay and close now i am going to mark your dimension for your angular see i have just marking this point we had your see before that change your uh, contents to by layer and your lines also to by layer now click your dimension so i have marked your 
base dimension then I will be marking your height also from this point to this point plus 50 mm last you are going to mark your angle so angle from this point to this point ok so with this I wind up this first problem on your projection of solids thank you all